Hello, 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 and welcome to another auction preview video with Southern Bell. Now, just to remind you, or in case you're new, these auctions are on the Angel in Pink Camo channel on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you'll see my auction preview here, and you'll also see what sold the video here. But the actual auction is on her channel because my channel isn't quite big enough yet. But maybe someday when I grow a little bit bigger, I could have my very own auctions. But for now, here's the preview. Oh, and keep in mind that what makes Angel's auction special is that she has early bird specials. So the way the early bird specials work is to reward people who show up on time, early, or at the very beginning. The first round that all sellers have is a $1, not starting bid, but a $1 buy it now. So it's the fastest fingers that type the $1 that get to buy those items. And then it's just a matter of how many they choose. So don't forget to show up early or on time for the early bird specials. But even if you oversleep, you'll see there are tons of great bargains in this preview video. So without further ado, les bontemps rouler. Let the good times roll. So we'll let the good times roll with these beautiful purses. Look at this brown one in the back that has these beautiful cutouts of flowers and has this lovely fringe just gorgeous love it love it love it it's so boho chic and for all of you who like the material quilting purses this is not vera bradley not vera bradley but it has that styling and that detail and it won't have that vera bradley price on the bottom level who likes butterflies? Look at the beautiful butterfly motif to this purse. And then if you need a basic crossbody with a little chain detail, brand new with tags, I have this lovely one in a maroon burgundy color. Look at these beautiful straw and rattan purses in lots of different colors and styles. Look, the one in the front, originally $28. This one with the black and um, tan, originally $25. And the mauve one in the back, originally $18. And look at these fabulous bamboo handles. Here's two more purses. A great black and gray crossbody as well as a super elegant silver purse with a chain detail that's going to be your metallic neutral that's going to go with everything super upscale and then last but not least on the purses the pièce de résistance is this xoxo purse which has an original price of $49 but spoiler alert it won't be nearly that much at the auction. Since purses were popular last time, I brought back different purses this time. I also thought I would do some of these cosmetic purses. Although you could put much more in them than cosmetic. Anything from art supplies to your receipts for taxes to who knows what. After working our way down from purses to cosmetic bags, now let's look at some coin purses. Although coin purses don't have to just be for coins, they could hold your peppermints or butterscotch or a cough drop in the winter. They could really hold anything you need, even maybe a few bobby pins in case the wind kicks up and you don't want hair blowing in your face. So many things you can do with these cute little coin purses. And there's lots of designs to choose from between sloths, llamas, a fun mermaid print, cute little cat with cupcakes, fur, a faux skin design, even faux fur. Which one will you choose on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on the Angel and Pink Camo channel? 
since leggings were popular at last week's auction, I decided I would include this brand new with tags men's two-piece pajama set. Although it's navy and emerald, I don't know why in the world a woman couldn't wear this. I would certainly wear these colors. Now, granted, with it being 2X, it's probably going to fit a woman's 3X, but it might possibly fit somebody in the audience or might fit somebody's husband. I thought I might offer some hats to mine. So here in the children's hats, I have an Elmo next to a PJ Masks next to a baby shark do, 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 do. baby shark do, 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 do. i'm sorry can't help it that song is just so catchy um a finding dory on the bottom and a puma for men i have three hat choices a mini mouse a love which has a spark of brim and a plain pink that would be great for monogramming or maybe putting like a sequined applique on, or even using some fabric paint on. Lastly, I have this choice of Snoopy or Jurassic Park. I'm sorry, Jurassic World. Coloring books seem to be popular every month, and look at the original price on this. But it won't be that price on Saturday. It'll be a great bargain price. Have you seen these ornaments where you take off the top and then you fill it with whatever you want to, whether it be tinsel, whether it be glitter or confetti or you name it? Anybody out there collect Coca-Cola collectibles? This is new, still sealed in the package. The patented, trademarked Coca-Cola bear with Coca-Cola scarf. What a great thing to add to your collection or to give to a Coca-Cola collector. What do you give to the person that has everything? The person that says, oh, there's nothing I really need. There's nothing I really want. Well, the answer is something sentimental. And often an easy sentimental gift is to get a great frame and to put it inside a heartfelt photo that's going to elicit fabulous memories that's going to elicit warm emotions that will be the kind of gift that will be cherished and i have these two wonderful frames that would be great for gift giving now speaking of gift giving especially gift giving photos i know a lot of the millennials just look at photos on their phone but people who are middle-aged or elderly still have photos and when your parents or grandparents pass away, you inherit all of these photos. And what are you going to do with them? Well, your choices are put them in frames, but eventually your tabletops get full. Put them in scrapbooks, but scrapbooking takes a lot of time. Have y'all ever seen these classic photo stars rotating photo showcases? You can put a ton of photos in here, and then you set them out on an end table or a coffee table, and when people come over, they get to flip through them. This way, you can see them and flip through them during the commercials when you're watching TV, when you have people over. A great way to have photos where you can see them and look at them and cherish them rather than having to stop and track down that scrapbook and get it out once in a while. This you have the beauty of seeing every day. Or you could set this one up for a parent or grandparent as a loving tribute. Who needs some trouser skirt hangers? You know, you can get those kind with the two side pinchers, but I find that that leaves an indentation on my pants or my skirts and if you tuck your shirt in, then people see those indentations, especially if you're wearing velvet or crushed velvet. So I find that these kind of hangers help to smooth out the area rather than pinch them. Is anybody watching a person who collects tins or uses a reusable tin in order to give gifts? That way, both the 
tin is a gift, and the item ins inside the tin is a gift. It's like two gifts in one. And they can use it year-round for storage. I have a couple of fancy candles. Look at this sparkly one by Bill Blass. And then next to it is a golden one by Pure One. Since crafts became a popular item towards the end of the auction, I thought I would offer a few more crafts. And one of the interesting crafts that I've only recently noticed is this 3D gemstone type craft. I believe it's called um, Dazzling Dimensional Diamond Art. And I've got three different choices. I've got the turtle, I've got the pineapple, and I've got the Christmas boots. Lots of different brushes available Saturday morning at the Angel at Pink Camo Auction, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Three different scents of cologne mist. For your storage needs, I'm going to be offering these bento boxes. Look at all the dividers inside. So helpful for storing, whether it's for your lunch, your snacks, or even just crafting and beading supplies. Have you ever wanted to make your own scented flavored oils? Or maybe a bath oil? Maybe your own salad dressing? The sky's the limit. I have these super cute little kits where you can make your own concoctions. Be great to give out for the holidays as a personalized gift, especially if you have some culinary prowess. How are you planning to scent your home for the holiday? I have these fantastic limited edition Airwick decor warmers. So these aren't the standard plug-ins that you have for every day. There is a special one that has a snowman and a special one with a reindeer. The snowman is apple cinnamon and comes with two refills. The reindeer is woodland pine, of course, because that's where reindeers live and walk. And it comes with two refills. And if you would prefer a wax warmer rather than a oil warmer, I have this one as well. You plug it in and you put the warming cubes of wax in the top and you get a nice little melt all by plugging it in. I thought I would offer some more yarn up for sale. I have all of these lovely pastel colors, just perfect if you wanted to make a little baby gift. A couple of these colors I have more than one of in case you need a quantity, but I thought these were just darling. So if you're planning to spend the winter inside, sitting under a blanket or by the fireplace, and you thought maybe you'd crochet or knit a little something, I have the yarn to help you out. It's so hard to find Thanksgiving decor and decorations. But here today, I found this cute little stuffed animal. Look at this darling little thing. Don't you just love it? And then I have this candle, which is beautiful from all angles. It is sculpted, notched, shaped, just beautiful. I have a simple votive, which I'm including a candle to start you out with. And you could put all your other votives in it. And once again, it's beautiful on all sides. And then I have this cute little swirl candle, all wrapped up pretty, ready for gift giving. Look at these gorgeous porcelain ceramic Santas. They are tall and skinny. They depict what Santa might have looked like in different years. They are just gorgeous. They are so detailed in their robes, in the creases, in the hair, in the beard. I could just sit and stare at these for hours. 
how great would these look on your shelf, on your mantle, or just sitting in front of the corner of the TV? Look at these two beautiful new with tags Christmas decorations. You can hang them on a wall, hang them on a door, hang them on a doorknob. Two different decorations. Both have jingle bells, so if they're on a door, you can hear when people come and go. What's that old saying? Presentation is everything. And so the item, the container that you put your gift in, a lot of times sets the stage for the reaction of the gift. So I have these two gorgeous round miniature hat boxes, which would allow you to gift give. I do have a few multiples of each. One is a swirl of peppermint, and the other is a snowflake design. This is a great way to easily put gifts in a container without being stuck wrapping it because the box is already decorative and is part of the gift. Since fashion accessories have been growing in popularity, I thought I might offer some scarves. Look at this fancy one that's in orange. Oh, new with tags. Look at the tag. 15 bucks, but I certainly won't be charging 15 bucks for it. Look how pretty it is. But if you like this, yet you're not really a fan of orange, I do have it in some other colors. Look at it in, here's a yellow. And of course, there are so many ways to wear scarves. Look at it if you double it up and pull it through. So pretty. Or maybe you like lighter colors. I've got a solid white here, and the white does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. I'm not sure if the sparkle's coming through on the camera. And of course, we always need a pretty in pink. But the thing I like about this pink is that it actually has some yellow and some white in it. It's not just Plain. It's got lots of shades to it. I also have it in a light blue. My mother must have just bought this in every single color. And they're all brand new with tags. This would certainly both be fashionable and keep you warm. How pretty is that? But if these are too heavy for you, I do have some lighter ones as well. Because you can wear scarves in all weather and all seasons. Look at this pretty one with the pink and purple flowers. So feminine, so dainty, so gorgeous. And I have to tell y'all, pink and purple are my favorite. But if you like more neutral colors, look at these neutral colors. Now this is so understated, so dainty, but look, it still has a metallic thread going through it. Just lovely. For those who want a more bold pattern and appropriate for fall, look at these beautiful fall colors. You've still got some flowers, but yet they are bolder, they are darker, and they will go with your fall outfits. And what's the trend right now? The trend right now is ombre. Look at this beautiful ombre where it starts with fuchsia, but yet the fuchsia goes to burgundy and then down to purple. So let's look at it on the, the model here. A beautiful ombre of color. And last but not least, look at this shiny, silky one in orange. Just gorgeous. Because after all, who doesn't need a little shine and shimmer? I thought perhaps maybe I would try some 
necklaces this time or necklace earring combos. Here's a few that will be up for grabs. Look at these two sparklers. I have it in both gold and silver. It's a necklace with matching pierced earrings and look how every stone is cut and fastened. Let me show you a few more necklaces. We've got this long 28 inch one with this beautiful chain tassel. And then we have the shorter one over here and it almost looks like eyes are looking at you. But if you prefer, look at this beautiful dragonfly. Or perhaps this costume jewelry equivalent of the ruby. It still sparkles, even if it's not a real ruby. But if you like longer necklaces, I've got this beautiful one, new with prongs, with a golden butterfly. Any owl lovers out there? Look at this dainty owl. So pretty. I've also got this one with kind of a, a reddish stone. Maybe carnelian, but I'm just guessing. If you want some monster bling, look at this owl. And it comes on a super long chain. But maybe you like a dainty owl. Look at this dainty owl. Its eyes just almost glow. So these will be jewelry options on Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Angel in Pink Camo channel. So I hope that some of these things have interested you. In the comments, tell me your favorite ones. Try to list your three favorites. That way, I will know what to bring the week after this because I'm always interested in knowing what y'all like. I realize sometimes you don't happen to bid on those items because maybe it wasn't the right price point. Maybe it ended up not being the right color. But just to give me some ideas of the things that you like me to sell based on the previews is very helpful. Also, if there are things that you'd like to bid on that weren't shown here, if you tell me in time, I might can look through the drawers and closets and find them by Saturday. But anyway, I hope even if you're not a bidder or a buyer that you show up just to have fun, just to watch, just to chat. We have such a blast in the chat and chat is always free. So without further ado, let me say laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Roll in your heart. Roll in your mind, roll in your soul, roll in your auctions. Until Saturday at 10 a.m. on the Angel and Pink Camo channel. Bye, y'all.